What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back to y'all again with another art tutorial, man. If you're new to this channel, click that like button and come in, subscribe. Make sure you hit post notifications so you will be notified every time your boy drops some heat. In today's video, I will be teaching you guys how to sculpt a face for beginners inside of this app that's called Nomad. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, first thing you want to do. You want to go over here to your drag tool, rotate, rotate your little circle, your UV sphere. Then you want to click on to the right. You see that in the um, top right corner, you see this little ball that I'm rotating? It let me know what side of the cylinder, I mean the UV sphere I'm on. So we're going to hit right. And what I like to do from the right side is drag out a chin pull the face forward a little bit with my drag tool and kind of just get the shape of the head and I make sure another thing too make sure you put um your nomad on auto save because I just recorded a full tutorial for you guys and um it crashed and it wasn't on auto save so this is me retaking the first tutorial so Make sure you put it on auto save. You know what I'm saying? And how you put it on auto save, you want to click this folder. And then you want to, you see it right there, auto save. And I got mine on three minutes. So every three minutes, it'll let me know, hey, bro, you need to save this jump, bro, for real. All right. Now, we had the front view, but still on our drag tool. And we just gonna keep rotating it, making the shape of the face. I'm back on the side, it's the back of the head, kind of light. And I'm gonna be honest with you, you can really make the whole shape of the face just using the drag tool. So, just gotta practice, that's all it is, and know when to change the size of your, of your tool. But yeah, the drag tool is my one of my favorite tools. So we're going to push in the area for the eyes. We're going to probably pull out some ears like this. From the side, just like that. Pull some ears out. Push it back like that. And so we're going to make a little cheekbone the jawbone I'm tripping to my cheekbone you know what I'm saying I made a little jawbone just like this shape this nose out a little more pull that area where the lips gonna be out a little further bring the chin up a little further you feel me pull this face the bottom part a little longer like this, pull this in like that. We gonna pull out a spot for the neck, just like this. And just practice, that's all it takes. I know y'all probably see me and get discouraged, but all you gotta do is practice. Sculpt the day. One sculpt the day will make you great. I'll get you better. Okay, we gonna shake this nose out a little bit like this and y'all see how i'm really like utilizing this drag tool man taking advantage because it's an amazing tool also we got our nose we're gonna pull these the top of this eyebrow we're gonna pull that forward a little longer so it can hang over the eyes we're gonna grab this cheek and pull it up just a tad like this. Always stay rotating your clay too. Cause you gotta keep in mind you um altering every part of it. So you can't stay in one era area. So pull this forward. Okay, boom. 
go to drag, drag this out like that. Bring this up. Okay. You're gonna push these ears inward like this. Okay, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna hit voxel remesh at the bottom and we're gonna move it up a little bit and click remesh so we can add more detail to our clay. And then we're gonna go over to the smooth brush, smooth that out a little bit like that. Now what we about to do is we got a nice little, we got a nice little base we gonna create some lips. How we gonna do that? You are gonna come over to the side to your crease brush, and we gonna create a center point for the lips, like this. Okay, after you created that center line for the lips, you wanna look for the inflate brush. And with this inflate brush, we gonna make the fullness of the lips like this. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Okay, we're gonna smooth it out a little bit. Let's go to our smooth brush. We need to add some more detail to our clay. So let's come back down to box of remesh. Give it a little more detail. Smooth all this out real quick like that. You know what I'm saying? Repeat it again. Let's crease it. Crease like that. I'll make my inflate go back to my inflate brush. If I can find it, where is it? Okay, go back to the inflate brush. Make it a little bigger. Pull the intensity down some so we can have a little more control. Okay, cool. Now that we got our inflate brush, let's go back to smooth things out in certain areas like that. Go back to your crease brush and click invert. Make it the size of your brush bigger and bring the intensity down. And we're gonna create the outer line of the lips. Make that make that size of this brush bigger. Okay. And now we got some character lips here, if you hear me. Okay, on his nose, let's go to our clay brush and let's click sub to your left and let's create some nostrils. Say that's, that's about good. Then we're gonna smooth that out. Smooth that out like that, you feel me? After you smooth out your little nostrils, what you want to do, you want to go back to our crease brush, uncheck so I mean uncheck invert, and we're going to create that line by the nose like this. Let's make that line a little bigger so it'll be smoother. Like that. Yeah, then we'll make it a little bigger. We're gonna create a little beard right here, like that. We're gonna create that chin line right here. Also, bring our intensity down, keep our brush big, make that cheekbone. Make our brush bigger, bring the intensity down. Yeah. Boom. 
Now let me go back to my drag tool, my favorite tool. Get the shape of these eyes. Okay. Because we want, you got to keep in mind, we want the eyes to sit like it's in a pocket. So let's create a pocket for it by bringing this forward. Yeah. Bring it a little forward. Then we're gonna go to our clay brush. Um, clicks. Let's make sure you got sub check, and we gonna hit front view to make sure we looking at the very front of the view. And we're gonna create slots for the eyes. Create little pockets, just like this. Create a pocket. Okay. Let me step back a little bit. Now we got our pocket. Smooth this out. And go to my drag tool and drag this and shape it. Now we're going to pull it forward a little bit. This part ain't gotta be perfect because we're gonna shape it out better once we make some eyes, eyeballs. Okay. We just need a nice little spot for it to sit. Okay. Let's do um a box of remesh. Cause once you stretch your clay out, it start getting distorted. Alright, now what we finna do? We finna add some eyeballs. So let's come over here. Let's click add. UV sphere and then you want to hit validate you want to go to your gizmo you want to bring it forward with the blue arrow and with this orange circle you want to hold it and bring it inward to scale it down and then you want to select that blue arrow the blue arrow is to move forward and backwards the red is for left and right, and the green is for up and down. And the circles above the arrows is to change the shape. So you see each direction you pull will change the shape. Double tap on your string to go back. Now let's push this backwards to our model. And by using the arrows, we're able to drag it around easily. Okay. After I find a good placement where I want my eyes to sit, I'm going to scale it down just a tad. Let them sit right there. Wait, I'm going to pull it down just a little bit. Boom. Scale it down. Right there, that's cool. Now, what I'm finna do while you still got your UV sphere selected, you want to come over to the top left, add, and then you want to hit mirror, and it's gonna place that eye on the other side. Hit validate, join children so it'll make it one, make those two eyes become one together. Now, you want to come back to the top and you want to hit smooth shading and click on so we can smooth out the eyes now tap on to your face go to your drag tool and we can just pull this eyelid over the eye you feel me so now it's sitting perfectly it's sitting perfectly in our model like that you feel me 
Do you feel me? Okay. Now, all you gotta do is uh, pretty much take your time on this part. Shape it out how you want it to be. So boom. I'll pull this a little further closer to the rain is. And this will be the part where you'll want to get a reference so you can make sure you get a nice little shape of an eye. You know what I'm saying? Alright, now we got our eye where we want it to be. I want to wait. Let me see. I can drag this over just a tad. Like that. Okay, cool. Now, we got our eyes placed where we want them. I'm going to do another box of remit bring my clay or something. Yeah, feel me. Let me um drag my eye a little higher. Go back to my crease tool, and we just gonna create, bring the intensity up. We gonna create some pockets for the eyes. So we gonna make this a little lower like that. And then we gonna create one right above it, like this. Boom. Yeah, feel me. Also, we need to fix that cheek. Y'all see that cheek messed up a little bit? That's where you. What we can do? Yeah. Let's go to our clay brush and go to sub. Make sure you got sub check. And we gonna pull away some clay. Hey, this come over here like this. Pull away some clay and build on top of clay. It's just a back and forth routine till you get the shape how you want it. Okay. Just pull away right here in this little spot. After that, I'm gonna smooth it out with the smooth brush. Just like that. Smooth it out a little bit. Smooth it out. Now, let's come to our drag tool. Like I said, that's my favorite tool. And you can treat it like you're pulling dents out of a car. You know what I'm saying? Also, we can make this a little straighter by changing the size. That's all you gotta do. Keep changing the size. Till you get it exactly how you need it. We're gonna push this a little closer. See how we push that crease a little closer? All right. I'm gonna bring this nose a little inward. We just gonna drag it like that, boom. Then we gonna grab this part, make it small, bring it forward like that. You feel me? Now, let's work on these ears some. The shape of the ears, we gonna push this in closer to the face. Wanna stick them out too far. Also, we're going to go to our clay brush. Let's um, uncheck sub. We're going to add that little muscle. That be right here. Come on down like this. Then we're going to smooth. Smooth this out right there. Boom. Another thing I want to do, I want to change uh, the 
the clay. We don't want to make it look shiny. Let's um change the clay color. See, just uh keep playing with these sliders till you get them exactly how you want them. I like that. Get them a little tint, you feel me? Take it down. And just click paint all. Okay. Now with these eyes, what we gonna do? Select your eyes, and we gonna go to um, the metalness and the roughness. Try to bring the roughness down. We wanna make them shine like this. Paint all. Now we got our eyes shining. Select your eye, and let's go to on um, the wire at the bottom so you can see it and we're going to add a lot of detail to the eye so when we paint on to the eye that detail the transfer so what you want to do you want to come to the top and you want to hit subdivide and you just want to keep clicking it yes now let's find a color to paint I want to add a little more detail to it, so we're gonna hit subdivide one more time. Boom. You probably really don't want to go that high. I ain't gonna even lie to you. But the reason I'm going that high because I'm gonna um bake all the detail, and I'll teach all that in another video. I'll teach you stuff like that in another video right now we focusing on the sculpting you feel me so i want to bring this up with my drag tool so let's select our face let's bring the eyebrows up soon like this change the expression a little bit also we can mess with the lighting you know what I'm saying? You can change the environment to give you a different feel of what you're sculpting. You know what I'm saying? Now, let's go to crease. We'll put that crease back. Make our brush smaller so, and bring the intensity up so we'll get a sharp, sharper line in our crease. Boom. Outer crease, make our brush back bigger because we're trying to bring that detail of them lips back. Like that, boom. So, now I'm finna add some hair to them. Wait, first let's do these ears real quick. So what we gonna do while we on our, um, we can, yeah, we can stay on the crease. What you can do is you can draw out your ear, however you want your ear to be. Bring the um, brush size down. Kind of draw you a little guideline. That's what you can do. Draw you a little guideline, right? Go to your drag tool, make it smaller and pull in certain areas that's gonna be different and I, get, I see how I got my auto save on but even though I got auto save on once that little reminder pop up it remind me to manually save as well so bam let me hit save you always won't be safe safe than sorry let's go to our inflate tool and we can make certain areas pop out to give you that three-dimensional look. So, so boom, 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 like that. Okay, that's a little, that's a little clean little ear for now. Let's go to our clay brush, and if you want, you can, you know, strip away some of the areas that you think should be further inward like that and 
and then just go over it with your smooth brush. Now we got a nice little ear. Now what we gonna do, wait, let's go back to our clay brush, I mean our face. Um, let's find a, a nice little lip color so we can paint. Bring a roughness back. Find a natural color, probably right, right there. Let's paint his lips. So you can take your time. We just trying to get this tutorial where you get an understanding of what's going on. Another thing too, let me show you this. <clears throat> Say if you want to start painting things on different layers, what you do is you hit your layers, add new layer, and I can paint on this layer. And the same thing we do in Adobe Illustrator, we can create our layers for different for different things, you know. So you can keep everything organized. And also you can stack your colors if you want to do that, you know what I'm saying? So just that's a little something. You want to select the color if you want to switch back to a certain color just put your finger on it and then it'll allow you to switch back let's go to our eraser tool you know clean it up clean it up a little bit even so yeah we just did that for for now now what we finna do let's go to our mask tool and we gonna draw wait another thing too wait, let's, no we ain't we ain't gonna do that let's um let's step back let's step back my brothers we fin to make sure you go back remember i told you about the layers when you finna make some different changes to the face make sure you go back to the base don't do it on the layer because if i make a change on the layer instead of the base let's say let's say if i start back sculpting the face out right but i'm on a layer if i ever take that layer off it's gonna lose my changes in the face so I always make sure when you're coloring do it on the layers when you're sculpting I always go back to your base you know what I'm saying so that's something y'all need to keep in mind so we just gonna tap back go back a little bit all right cool let's go back to our base we on our base layer now let's go to mask is right under your smooth brush and with your mask you want to draw out the um where you're gonna put your hair at so we're gonna start with the eyebrows first so I'm gonna draw this out like that boom after I draw that out I'm gonna come to the very top on the at the right on the top and right beside your brush you want to hit that mask logo right here and now let's turn our model to the side go back to the mask option and then you want to bring the thickness up bring it up some and then you want to move your smoothness up you know what i'm saying so you can get a smooth shape to it and I got it on all. Your, your setting might start out right here. But just depends on what you're doing. Since we're working on hair, I want to smooth the whole shape. After we smooth out the shape, you want to hit extract. And make sure you got shell selected. So bam, we extracted it. And now what it did was it created its own layer out of that mask we just created 
So select your model again and make sure you take mask off. Every time you're finished using the masking tool, make sure you clear it to take it off before you move to the next step. Okay, let's change this color. Let's hit paint all. I'm gonna make this black. Okay, like a brown. And look, my auto save is like, hey, bro, save, bro. So every time that auto save pop up, you manually go up here and save. I'm telling you. Because I think mine's crashed so much because I got a lot going on. I got so many things I saved and need to move it to a hard drive or something. But other than that, this is a great program. So what we finna do is create some sideburns, y'all. Let's select our face again. And I wanna create them old school sideburns. You can tell by the way I use my rope. Okay, we're gonna bring this back like this. Sideburns gonna go into his hairline like this. Boom. So I'm gonna create a whole little whole little hair piece like this. You feel me? We created our mask. Now after we create our mask, let's go back to the top to the masking logo. Same process. We gonna bring the thickness up a little bit. Get it, get the thickness where you like it. I like it right there. And we're gonna hit extract. We're gonna select our model and we're gonna hit clear to take the mask off. And then we're gonna go back to our hair and we're gonna paint all. Yeah, and now I wanna make this, I wanna make this like an afro. So I think I'm gonna just inflate it. So we just gonna inflate the top half like that. You feel me? We're just gonna inflate the top. As you can tell by the way I use my walk, I'm a woman man. No sign of time. Alright. Got us a nice little character going on, man. You feel me? Let me um smooth it out a little bit. And there you have it, you guys. We got our got our nice little got us a nice little character, and that's how you do it. Let's go right here. Let's rotate this thing. You know what I'm saying? nice little rotation view another thing y'all want to do just say if you finish sculpting a picture right and you want to take pictures of it all you got to do is hit this folder come to the very bottom and hit export right here bam and it'll save a shot and then you get to save it to your devices you know what i'm saying so that's how you do it man thank you guys for watching Y'all make sure y'all leave some comments in the comment section below. And, um, you know what I'm saying? Let me know what you want to see next. Make sure you stay tuned. More heat coming soon. And we out this thing.